Hello, my name is Shane Quick, and this is my capstone presentation. A little bit about myself is I'm a senior at Oklahoma State University, and I plan to graduate this December and have a bachelor's in animal science with a, with a minor in ranch operations. Uh, after I graduate, I plan to go back to my family ranch that is located in Stigler, Oklahoma, and work on the family ranch. Today I'm going to be answering the question of does supplementation of creek feed for nursing calves positively affect the overall condition of the dams? Now this question has been around for decades and has had many producers, scrap cattle producers, scratching their heads uh, whether that creek feeding nursing calves will positively affect the condition. So before we start, I kind of like to give a little bit of a background about what creep feed is. Creep feed is supplementing um, a concentrate uh, grain source to the livestock um, with an ad libdom access to the feed, which is also known as free access, where they can come in and eat it at any time. As you can see right here, these calves can come in and the cat, you can actually see the cows are out here and they're blocked off from eating this uh, grain. This uh, feed is high in protein and energy. A very good protein source for creep feed is soybean meal, and a very good energy concentrant is corn, which is the most common uh, grain concentrant. Creep feeding is commonly most commonly used in the beef industry. However, it is also used in the sheep and swine industry. So about my findings, I used uh, six references as stated in the syllabus to conduct uh, this research and to answer this question. Three of the articles were, were peer-reviewed articles, and two of the articles, uh, there was three articles overall, like I said, and three of them uh, had experiments and research done, and overall two of the peer-reviewed articles disagreed with my question. So now we're going to look into the three experiments that were used for this research. The first experiment, the location and the season were unknown. So I don't know if this experiment was done in the United States or if it was done um, across the country. And the breed of the dams were Brangus crossbred cow-calf pairs. As you can see right here, here's a, here's a crossbred, uh, looks like a heifer maybe, I'm not really for sure. But this is kind of, kind of the breed uh, makeup of what it would have looked like. And these calves were supplemented 0.40 kilogram uh, of concentrate a day to the calves. And that was, that was done for 83 continuous days. Uh, the, the calves were fed for 83 straight days and the research was done for 83 days. That way there was no um, data that was skewed or anything like that. And this article disagreed with my question that creep feed does not affect the overall condition of the calf, of, excuse me, of the dams. Um, what was found was that there was a decrease in weight gain, average daily gain, and the body condition score, uh, score excuse me, of the dams. And if you're not familiar with what a body condition score is, that is a scale of one to nine, and one is very emancipated for the cow, and nine is very obese. So what you would typically want um, with a cow is about five would be an average, and uh, these, uh, these findings were that they did not decrease in the body condition score. The second experiment was done in the US. Um, I'm not for sure the state, it, it, the article did not say where uh, the lo exact location, um, but the breed of the dams were 25 month old Angus heifers. And these heifers were inseminated uh, at 14 months of age. So, you know, you can kind of do the math here and see that if they were inseminated at 14 months, they're going to calve around, you know, nine months later, which is going to be, you know, 23, 24 months. So, uh, you know, these, these calves weren't very old, and this data showed to positively affect the overall condition of the dams. And so, like I said, it agreed with my question, but personally, I believe that the reason that this agreed with my question is because of the, uh, the heifers that were used. And... Heifers are normally bred at about 55% of their mature body weight. So if you've got a thousand pound heifer uh, that you're kind of wanting to, to reach her goal of a thousand pounds, she's normally going to be bred around 550 pounds. So therefore, you know, she might calve and be, you know, 600, 700, 800 pounds, 
but she's still growing. She's still gaining weight. She's still uh, increasing in average daily gain. So this is why I believe that this experiment um, showed to positively affect the overall condition of the dams. And like I said, they did increase in average daily gain, weight gain, and body condition score. The third experiment was conducted in Brazil. Um, there was 485 cows that were analyzed. Uh, 273 of them were, were strictly other than the Lure breed, which is a crossbred uh, cow. And the remaining 212 were an allure uh, crossbred with a Holstein bull. And these calves were in the suckling phase. And the suckling phase is uh, the calves that are about three months of age to eight months of age. Um, so they were, you know, fairly young when they started out uh, suckling. So, you know, they continued on to their weaning phase. And these cows remained constant in their milk yield and their body condition score. So this article disagreed uh, with, with my question of this creep feed positively affect the overall condition of the dams. Now for my conclusion, um, I had a little bit of a hard time kind of coming to this answer after many hours and really more like days of research. I concluded that the results for this question are inconclusive. And I was very disappointed to find that I couldn't um, positively answer this question with 100% certainty of yes, it does affect their overall condition or no, it does not affect their overall condition. There was different factors that played a role in this answer um, that ultimately led me to make this decision and that was that the location of the cattle, uh, where they were, some of them were in the U.S., some were across country, and the uh, other experiment was not stated where they were. Also, the breed of the cattle did play a role in this, so therefore that was also another skewity in, in what, uh, what I could find. And uh, lastly, you know, breeding season plays a major role in um, weight gain for cattle, such as you know, if you've got fall calving uh, cows, you know, that are going to calve in the fall, you know, that's going to be harder for the cows to increase in weight gain because of there's limited forage, you know, you're feeding hay as to where in the spring calving season, when the, when the cows calve in spring, there's much more forage available. You know, you, you've got better, uh, you know, just a better overall pasture uh, for the cattle to graze on. I kind of want to include this slide because like I said, I did grow up on a cattle ranch and my family does utilize creep feeding uh, for our calves. And our breed of cattle that we run on our ranch are crossbred influenced tiger stripes, um, Charlay, Angus cattle, kind of, kind of a mixture. And from what I've seen, I've seen no positive effects uh, of creep feed for the, for the dams. Um, just simply stated, you know, I, I, I drive by, you know, a couple hundred cattle a day and I see the calves in the creep feeder. We keep creep feed out all year long and I see their, you know, I see the cow, uh, excuse me, the calves mamas uh, standing there beside the creep feeder and from what I can tell with my own eyes, I do not see any positive effects. I don't see um, increased weight gain daily or I don't see their body condition score increasing. And lastly, this is my work cited page for all of my pictures and all of my data. And lastly, now it is time for me to try to answer all of you guys' questions online. Thank you.